Let's show you how a putter and a phone can help you control the club face in a way that allow you to hit the ball longer without you having to swing any faster. I'm doing this with students. It's transforming how far they hit the ball. Getting good club face control, reducing curvature is going to make you hit the ball longer. You're not even going to have to swing any harder. So the more curvature I put on my shots, the more it's spinning and turning through the air, even a draw to hook to a big slice, you're going to reduce distance in your shot. If we can get you having less glancing blows, putting all that energy onto the back of the ball and transferring it through to that target, you're going to consistently hit the ball longer and in turn straighter. Now you can do this with your driver or your iron and any iron. These ideas are simply talking about club face control. I'm going to do it with the iron just for demonstration, but this applies to either longer straighter drives as well as more accurate approach shots. So first idea, let's get your phone. I'm going to take my phone out of my back pocket, which is where lots of people would have it as they're on the range practicing. And I'm simply going to put it under my lead thumb on top of the club in a way where I feel relatively at a right angle to that face. Doesn't have to be exact, but the closer you can get it in relationship to that face, the better. Now the phone becomes the club face. And the reason this is so strong is because when you swing the club, the only contact point you have with the club is obviously the hold, the grip, your hands onto this rubber part. Yet you're trying to manipulate the curvature of that grip to the face. And this is where so many golfers get unstuck. Finding that feel of face through your hands is one skill that good players have, pros have, and often amateurs struggle to feel. So simply by feeling that phone pointing more, say, down to the ground, that's gonna put the face more down to the ground. And if we relate that as the club moves back in the takeaway, if I stop here at first parallel, if I've got the phone pointing straight up to the sky, then in turn the face is pointing straight up to the sky. Well, I might struggle with high shots that leak off to the right a little bit, like lots of you do. So I might want to have this phone slightly tilted down to the ground, so this way, and in turn then the face tilted down to the ground. So I'm gonna use my thumb position, my hand position, my forearm position to feel what I'm doing to get that face there. In turn, you could be someone who hooks the ball. So you're curving it too much to the left, losing distance, face too much at the ground at first parallel. So I'm gonna feel like I'm getting the phone a little bit more up to the sky. So again, only slightly angled. And you can get the feel of this angle. Just simply take another golf ball. To be fair, most people can feel this, but if you're struggling to feel where it's turned, when you get to first parallel, just put a ball on it. And which way is it rolling off? Rolling forwards is going to be more for a gentle draw to straighter shots. Rolling backwards, this is how I might use the face if I wanted to hit a cut. Because there's your next step. You can hit shots where you feel like you really turn it down to the ground, and then you hit shots where you really turn it up and even beyond you here, and see what happens to your standard shot. Getting golfers to associate this, so the round grip to the face, is one of the key skills for you improving your iron play, your wedge play, your putting, your chipping, and definitely your tee shots. You can even do this with both hands on where you feel like you're taking the club back. Obviously the trail hands a bit off the club, but you can get the feel of how turning that phone down to the ground in first parallels, allowing that takeaway to get in a better position, better use of that club face with the turn of that phone on top of the grip. Once you've done a few of those, you can simply put the phone in your back pocket and go back to trying to recreate those shots on the range and get that more neutral ball flight. Now the reason a putter grip can help you with this is because putter grips often have a flat top line. So now I can feel that face through, not the phone, the flat top line of the putter grip. So this in effect is the same idea. But if you find the phone idea a little bit too kind of clumbersome, just get your putter, take it to the range next time you play. Do a few swings where you feel that putter grip turning down to the ground. Even when it goes above your head, you can feel the flat bit pointing at your head here. If you want that face, what people would call a bit more closed, you could turn the flat front of it more to the back wall here. That's open. It's going to allow me to cut the ball, get your practice swings done with that, and then apply that to your iron shots on the rounded grip. I've seen tour pros practicing with clubs with putter grips on just to get the feel of the face and then taking their real clubs back to the round grip and trying to apply those same feelings. Golfers building up their control of the club face, their understanding of where the club face is, is crucial to hitting better shots. It just allows them to control the curvature. Controlling the curvature allows them to hit the ball further. If you want to control how you strike the ball, this video here is helping so many of my students and it's got my best drills in it.